have a little coffee, you know, it's on your side from the moment you wake up. An intimate friend is going to help you, it's going to make uh, you successful. So espresso is an Italian tradition. What I expect from a great shot of espresso, I want to see a nice crema with a nice texture, golden brown. So when I make an espresso-based drink, I want to make sure that I have fresh coffee beans. And I'm gonna grind fresh beans into the porta filter, level it properly, and temp it properly. Activate the machine, see if the way it's uh, brewing is producing the right mouse tail. This is like uh, how we call the coffee, the espresso coffee coming down on the spouts. When you activate the machine, the pressure should go up to 9 to 10 atmospheres. The extraction time should be between 28 and 32 seconds from the moment you start. So when everything is ready, I'm gonna start steaming the milk. I'm gonna make sure that I incorporate enough air to produce a nice microphone, groom it to make it look shiny, put the ingredients together. We really drink uh, not many drinks like in America. We have, yes, espresso, macchiato, cappuccino, caffè latte or latte. Macchiato is uh, one shot of espresso. There are two different schools. One speaks about a dollop of foam. My favorite school instead is you steam the milk and then you free pour it to get a little bit of liquid milk and some nice micro foam. That's my favorite. The cappuccino is probably the most common drink in Italy, especially for breakfast. It's a single shot of espresso, same amount of coffee, same amount of milk, and same amount of foam. You know, the important thing is that it's a balanced. Last but not least, you need to serve the coffee immediately so that the drinker will experience all the aromatics and the nice mouthfeel and fantastic aftertaste that is gonna make my day as a producer of a specialty drink and hopefully the customer or my friend or my colleague is gonna enjoy this cup of coffee like he never had.